hello students we will start our new chapter in history class 6 chapter 11 new empires and kingdoms growth of kingdoms and changes there in was a continuous phenomena with the passage of time new rulers emerged they conquered different regions and had different policies of govern the difference which came about is that this was now in variation to the earlier system that only kshatriyas could rule now people from the vaishyas community were coming to power in this chapter we shall study about the important kings and happening of the period covering 4th century ce to 7th century ce the decline of the kushan empire The downfall of the Kushan Empire began in 3rd century CE by the early 4th century CE. Many independent states came into being in the northern part of India. They were being ruled by different kings have having small kingdoms. The Gupta Empire. One of the kingdom in Magadha region was ruled by a king named Shri Gupta. it is said that he belonged to the vaishya community and this was different from the previous trends of kings being from the kshatriya clan only his son ghatotkach took over the regions and he continued to rule for about 40 years the neighboring kingdoms of vaishali was under the lechunis the lechunis were said to be of nepali origin but settled in india they ruled the kingdom of vaishali which covered portion of north bengal and bihar in the 4th century ce a lechmani princess got married to a king in the magadha who was called chandragupt first the ruler of chandragupt first was under a lot of influence of kumar devi the lechmani princess coins bearing the figures of the princess speak of the extent of her influence Chandragupt first became the king of Pataliputra and established a kingdom along the Ganga river his kingdom extended from Bengal to Prayag the region of Chandragupt first is said to have come to an end in about 330 CE Samudragupt Chandragupt first was succeeded by Samudragupt in about 330 CE he resigned for about 50 years inscriptions on a pillar which was erected by ashoka has inscription on samudragupta on the other side art and music samudragupta was good especially in music and singing he was also well known for his poetry he also played musical instrument including the veena religious belief and tolerance he was a devotee of the hindu god vishnu he respected other religion and even allow the king of sri lanka to set up a monasteries and gaya an important place for the followers of buddhas coins and currencies historians have found many gold coins from the period of samudragupta the coins have greek influence on the design the impressions of the coin varied they depicted the kings playing veena holding a bow trampling a tiger etc the prayag inscription depicts him as a hero of 100 battles these prashastis describe him as maharaja dhiraj or king of the kings chandragupta second chandragupta second was a conqueror like his father samudragupta he was also known as vikramaditya Chandragupta II was also known as Sakri which means the conqueror of Sakas and the Chakravarti which means the universal empire He was famous now for having a court with nine noble and learned men called the Navratna or the nine jewels These Navratna include the famous poet Kalidas and the astronomer Aryabhatta Administration The Gupta Empire showed great administrative skills. They had a smooth system of revenue collection and governing of territories. 
the welfare of activities were run properly the digging of wells making of roads and canals helped improve agriculture and related trade other development science and literature flourished the art of ajanta and elora caves the architectures of the sanchi stoop the temples of jhansi and kanpur are fine examples of the art and architecture of this period economic growth the improvement in agricultural production development of art crafts and building trades within the country and with foreign countries brought prosperity the gupta period has therefore been described as a golden age of indian history religion gupta show a performance in their family dt vishnu they pursued the policies of perfect freedom of worship new temples were being built better and attractive ideals were being made of hindu god and goddess the decline of gupta empire subsequent kings of gupta empire were not are famous and samudra gupta and chandragupta second the rule of the guptas continued till 570 ce they had to fight many wars with the hunds which made them weak harshvardhana while we learn a lot about the gupta period from the prashastis but there are some kings whose biographies give us a lot of information a case in hand is the life story of king harshvardhana the harshcharitra is a biography of king harshvardhana who ruled in 7th century ce the biography was written by his court poet banbhat in sanskrit the writings of another chinese travelers and scholar huin sang describe the rule of harshvardhana literacy and education harshvardhana was a great ruler he was literate himself and even composed famous play like ratnavali and nagananda during his rule nearly a quarter of the revenue revenue was spent on education nalanda became a world famous seat of higher learning according to the chinese scholar huin sang more than 15000 students were getting free education and nalanda there were over 1000 teachers and more than 50 subjects were being taught at the university the selection process of candidate seat the admission was strict just about 10 to 20% of candidates applying for admission could secure a seat charity king harshvardhana had a very kind heart he used to hold a puja at prayag every fifth year and gave away lots of wealth to the needy the writings of him sang state that in 643 ce at one such prayer meeting he even gave away his personal jewel and clothes he later borrowed some from his sister to cover himself up he also begged on the streets after giving away all this wealth such was his magnanimity the rulers of the southern regions the prashastis found in the southern regions tell us about the pallavas and the chalukyas who were the famous dynasties of the southern regions of india during this period the pallavas ruled their kingdom from their capital city of kanchipuram their kingdom spread around the kaveri delta the chalukyas had their capital at ehol which lies in modern day north karnataka the chalukyas and the pallavas frequently attacked each other as there was prosperity or both sides their administration was sound and well coordinated the famous king of chanakyas was pulkeshin ii it was pulkeshin ii who who thwarted the attempt of harshvardhana to capture areas to the south of the narmada river the prashastis found here was written by pulkeshin's court poet ravi kirti the victories of chalukya kings or pallavas was the not long light soon the region say the rise of the rakshakutras and the cholas about whom you shall study about later thank you students